it's hard chow time. And it's got to be hard chow time. Um, I'm now a dad. I have been for some time. And it's not easy trying to remind my daughter to keep her lips together. It's not easier to remind her to do some chewing. Um, and we do use some chewing gum. But it, 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 that's difficult work. I mean, life, life is life. Now, our ancestors didn't have to do this. They had a lifestyle that matched the environment in which they lived. So they didn't have to have these worries. They were in their natural environment. So they naturally grew that way. They didn't have to make an effort to do it as we're now having to do. Now, there's pros and cons of living in a modern environment as well. So what can we do? Because it's got to be prevention. And that's we've got to find a tougher diet. It's clear and obvious that... I can influence the way my daughter's facial form and future health, as well as teeth, develops. Now, there's probably the most significant factor in craniofacial dystrophy seems to be the uh, muscle effect. And you've got, you know, you've got back to medieval times, more or less everyone having pretty good facial form. Not ideal, but pretty good. Space for all of their teeth, including the wisdom teeth, nearly always. You also notice a great big wear on their teeth. Yeah, their teeth are really worn down. So, you've got the wear, you've got the better face. I think it's directly connected. I think it seems, and it fits with all, everything else. So, the, using these muscles, you use these muscles, you'll get reasonable facial shape. It's fairly obvious. Now, how can I do this naturally? Well, the natural way to do it is change the diet. Change the diet so that the only choice, there's, there's no effort. The only choice she's got, there's no effort. And it, it's there in front of you. So the, the food stock at home has to be tougher. Because of the food stock at home, it, the, the balance where we're looking at calories per effort needs to be skewed a little bit across to one direction. And that's what I think has gone too far one direction in modern society. We need to balance it back again with a little bit of hard work. Now, I'm amazed at when I, uh, any lectures go on the internet, read a book. There's people, um, there's a lot of people talking about diets and they quite get into these diets. It's amazing how deeply they get into diets, but it's all about the constituent, the bits inside the food. I, I want to look, to see if I can find some tougher things to food to feed my children. Now, I would be very thankful if we could have a debate about this under the pages. You know, I'm often busy, I know. But if we could have some debate about it, if people could put some suggestions, if other people could discuss with each other, you know, someone should write a book on this. This is open territory. It's clear and obvious. Be the first in the field. Come on. I'll, 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 I'll help anyone. This is um, a good endorsement with Dr. Mew. We could do a lot. You know, this is, this is, un, this is unbroken turf. This is an area where we, we could just come up with some basic simple answers. I mean, par-cooked carrots. Is that better than rice? It's probably certainly better than um, non-el dente pasta. So I would really be helpful. Also, please share this. I mean, this is one of those videos you're going to watch of mine, or you've never seen a bit of videos of mine before. We're going to go, we need to approach a wider audience. You know, I've, I've, I've lectured in paleo groups. I've lectured to a lot of different groups around the world. And I've, I, they've all stayed a little bit connected, but we, we need to push forward and see if we can bring in uh, other people to this understanding because it's through teamwork that you get answers. You know, I'm not going to come up with all the answers. I've got some great ideas, and I'm asking the right questions, but I certainly don't know. I don't have all the answers. Right questions, but not all the right answers. Listen, please do share this. Please push this out as far as you can, because I want to know what foods can we be giving our children to prevent? It's got to be prevention. Listen, thank you very much indeed.